Hello, guys. <clears throat> it's Lisa. I'm just doing a quick base coat. Um, on this uh, tray here, I just I'm using quick coat so we get to go pretty quick. I'm gonna do other stuff, but once I get these all poured out, then I'll go over the colors with you. I just gotta get them out of the cups. This is a new powder I got. It's called Black Pearl. It's by La Res. It's kind of like graphite y with a little bit of sparkle in it. So today, all of my colors are by La Res Expressions. Uh, if you're in Australia, you can get them through Susanna's website, LaResExpressions.com. If you're in the U.S., you can get them uh, from Laura Usher at uh, Laura's Art Corner on Facebook. She has a page. And uh, if you're in the U.S., you can order the Laura's products from, the, uh, from her, and then you don't have to pay that huge um, shipping from Australia. So, what I just put down, oh, what was it? The dark blue is Blue Star Sirius from La Res. The light blue is a uh, gray gala <clears throat> and then we got the black pearl uh, I am using some glitter from um, just resin it's the only thing that's not la res It is lapis blue glitter. From Just Resin, and then I've got, this is Lorez's, um, what's it called? Sun Catcher, which is gorgeous. It's got a gold shimmery undertone.
Okay, so like I said, this is just a base coat right now. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and I am just gonna kinda blend these together. Get it up to the edge. Blending them together like this I've got a bunch of clear on the bottom, so it'll give it that. Oh, I've got some on the side. Damn it. Can't take too long because this is quick coat. So I have multiple gloves on, so I was able to just take one off, boom, clean hands. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna heat this up a bit just so I can get it to move. Now with the quick coat, the more heat you add to it, the quicker it's going to set up. So just wanna make sure you don't have any dry spots. If you notice while I'm adding heat to it, you might see some smoke that is normal for quick coat as it's curing I should have put my apron on so that I didn't have dog hair on floating around. So with it having some clear, it's, it's like you can look through it. So I'm not doing much to this layer. It's just a layer that I want to get down so that I can do the second layer. This is just a little cheap wood tray I got from the dollar store, but I uh, I made it a little bit more sturdy. I put um, I took a bead of hot glue all the way around the edges here and on the bottom edges so hopefully I won't have any leaks but if you get one from the dollar store like I did make sure you do that because they are not put together very well at all so you kind of gotta reinforce them I'm just going around the edge to make sure that I don't have any resin on my edges. Because once it cures, you're not going to get it off. All right. Can you guys see that smoke? 
Okay, I'm going to stop messing with it because now it's getting chunky on me. I really like the Just Resin um, glitter, but you always have to do, if you're going to use it, make sure that you use it with a, um, a top coat. Because if you don't have a top coat, It's like, um, I don't know if it's called like polyester glitter or something. It's really super soft. So it all flows to the top. So it actually looks like you have like little dust particles in it. But you don't. It's just the glitter. So let me give this a quick torch. Get rid of the bubbles. And I'll give you a close up of that. This first layer. Now I'm not burning the resin, it's just curing fast. It gets so hot, like if I was to put my finger in that right now, it would probably burn me. It just cures so fast. Can you see that smoke? Open my door, turn my little purifier or air thingy on. Sorry for the noise, but it will suck that out. All right, so this is just the first top coat. See, can you see it? One of the reasons why with quick coat, I, uh, once it starts doing that, I definitely want to get a mask on. Should have a mask on the whole time, but to be honest, I completely forgot until it started smoking. So, so see, can you see it? Look at by my light, you can see it. See that? It's because the resin is so hot. Because in about five minutes, it's going to be totally cured. So. All right, I'm going to turn my fan on and um, let this cure up and I'll be back shortly with the second part of what I'm going to do with this. Thanks guys. Okay guys, I got the smoke cleared out. <laughs> I just wanted to go over my colors with you. I did them really quick while I was doing it. Um, so far, all I've used is Lorez products, um, except for the glitter. So this is Lorez Blue Star Sirius. And pretty that is. I got Res Gray Gala. It's like an ice blue gray. This is a powder. This is a paste. This is my new one I just tried for the very first time today. I just got it last week. Black Pearl. 
It is a powder. When it's in the resin, it's not like super black. It's kind of like a graphite type color. But it's really pretty. It's got a little bit of purple, see the purple shimmery in it. And then the sun catcher, which is amazing, but be careful because as soon as you open it, you'll start seeing it fly out. That's the sun catcher. I'm getting low on that. I didn't know that, otherwise I would have ordered it with my last order. And then this is the Just Resin Lapis Blue Glitter Flakes. Uh, super Sparkle and Shine Solvent Resistant. So they're really pretty, but like I told you, they do tend to, they'll mix in with the resin real good, but as the resin is setting up, they tend to, some of them will creep to the top and just float, so you want to do a flood coat on it. So yeah, so those are the colors. I know I just skimmed through them real quick. Got these cute little sticks and they have a flat bottom to them so that oops so that you can like totally scrape the bottom of your thing they are rounded so they kind of fit all the way around your cup and they are biodegradable so um, this is, uh, I don't know, I don't have a regular stick, but it's a short little one. Let's say in Dixie Cup it is, this is a regular size Dixie Cup, so... So not as long as the regular popsicle sticks. All right, so I'll be back shortly, guys. Hello, guys. I'm back. I uh, let this dry. And now I am going to... put a flood coat on it. I don't know how much I can't go that deep because it goes up to here. So I put some liquid bead glitter in it. Uh, where's my lid to it? It's a opal glitter, glitter. I don't know if you've seen it. Oops, I'm getting resin all over the place. All right. So I'm just doing a coat. Pretty basic stuff. The first coat dried. It dried pretty good. I only had like one imperfection in it. So I just sanded that one spot down. It's probably a dog hair. But it didn't matter really because it was the first coat. So, I'm all over my hands. 
And I'm gonna heat this up a little bit so it'll move around a little easier. Hang on, I gotta get my mask on. Hold, please. Okay. I'm just using this silicone brush to get up to the edges. Probably should have just used my hands. But I put um, fairy lights in my tray for a little added oomph. So I'm just trying to be a little more precise with the resin. I used a hot glue gun to tack the lights down. So I'll have to do something to like cover those up. Well, not really the lights, but the uh, The glue, it, it's not clear. I must have grabbed like a, it's got a little of a cloudy tinge to it. My other glue was really clear. my hand for the rest of the stuff so that I can actually feel how thick it is in areas. You just get a better feel when you use your hand and then you can feel if there's any spots that you missed. And you can tell where it's thicker in certain areas. But putting a flood coat on with a little bit of a glitter in it, when you've already done one layer, so like the first layer, it really wasn't a layer, but the first one was the, the painted board. So because I used a lot of clear in the first layer, the painted board actually looks like a layer. So you can see that deep down. And then you got your second layer of your resin. And then that dried. And now I've got the this layer. And when you put a little bit of a sparkle in it, it tends to you be able to see the depth a little bit more. Heat it up, pop the bubbles, and 
get it warm. Kind of look at it under a light, make sure you didn't miss anything. And then we will let that layer dry. Before we move on, I'm probably going to put some glitter or maybe some diamond dust in it just along the edge so so that's it pretty simple guys I will babysit it and torch it a few more times as it is settling and I will be back see that little bit of glitter Oops. Sorry. Let me take you out of here for a minute. Oops. See that little bit of sparkle in the resin coat? And then you can see that turquoise that's right there is the actual board that I spray painted. So then you can just see how much depth that gives it. So there you have it. I will be back shortly. So before I do my last layer of resin, I'm going to first, I'm outside in my little spray paint room. So I have some Krylon Glitter Blast. It's, uh, it's like spray diamond dust. It's pretty amazing. So I'm going to spray like the outside of the tray with it just to get the last layer of clear on it. And I'm going to just do a light spray on this because it's got already enough sparkles. If I Actually, I'm probably not going to, but if I get some in it, it's not going to matter because I'm going to cover it with uh, another coat of resin. But, I don't know if you can see them yet, but here's my little fairy lights. Here, let me shut this. See? No pretty? All right. So that's what I'm going to do here. I don't know how well I can do it with one hand while I'm taping. Excuse the shake. Anything with glitter in it, you need to shake it really well. And then I'm just going to try it on the wall here. See, you can just get... Yes, my husband's going to redo my walls in here for me, so. We ripped this place apart, and we have to redo it. It's a little room under the deck. The previous owners used to have a spa in here. So it got really uh, damp in here. They had a spa and a... See all the glitter in the air? <laughs> so anyway, they had a spa and a tanning bed in here. And the wood just rotted from the inside out here. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm not doing very good with the thing. But see, see the edge now? Just a real light dusting. So, I'm just going to finish the sides off here, and then I'm going to let it dry, and then I'll be back for the final layer. Okay, guys. I sprayed it outside, and now it's dry. And I want to put some stones along the edge because I don't want to be able to see the fairy light um, wires. And I'm not really concerned about the wires as much as the white um, hot glue gun, hot glue uh, was on it. For some reason it didn't dry clear. It's kind of a mess here, so I'm going to put some stones on. And I'm hoping that the mirrored stones will still allow it to, like the light to come through, right? So we're going to find out. I'm just going to lay them here. On the edge. Put them up against the edge here. So I don't want to use up like the tray part, right? So you can still use it for drinks and stuff. But I just want to make sure that the lights will still come in. I had some of these acrylic gems, but I don't like that blue with this blue. So that was not good. I was going to use this glitter, but this glitter tends to float to the top a lot. If you don't, you kind of got to treat it like, um, what is that, that, that foil stuff. So, I do have some of this glitter that I can sprinkle over it. And I have some of these blue stones, which go really well. So, I can still see the lights through here. So then I'll probably do that. And then maybe sprinkle some of the blue ones in there. So, yeah, so let me get that done, and uh, just sprinkle these around, and then before I mix my resin up, or while I mix my resin up, I will uh, put you on pause, so you don't have to mix with me for five minutes. I had some clear acrylic stones or gems that I was going to use and it probably would have looked really good but I did I don't think I have enough so let's see here actually I'm just going to use my hand here And the fairy lights, they don't need to be bright or anything. I mean, we're not lighting up a hallway. You know, a soft glow. Just enough for, you know, an effect. Because they're not a real bright light anyway. It's the, the cool, the cool um, color. Was that a cool light or something? the one that shines kind of bluish. So 
So I'm sure when I put my resin on here, I'm going to have to knock a few of these back. But that's okay. We'll just treat it like a geode, right? Where you just kind of like knock them back again and put them where they go. So if I mix some of the blue ones in, and then with the blue fairy light, it'll give it kind of like an icy, icy tree look. I don't know. Um, every place, place look a little even. that one either. So when I put the resin in, I'm going to put it right here and then move it out to the side and it'll go like theory. It should go under and up against. Okay. Now these are just these that I have dyed with um I stained them with alcohol ink so I would not be able to use these if I was like doing that alcohol ink um piece because it would react reactivate it See just a couple of these and it kind of gives it that blue, blue icy look, right? Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm just thinking. <laughs> just thinking. You get so many ideas in your head and then... Then you want to go a different direction than what you were going for. And then a lot of times when you change up your plan is when things go awry because you just got too much stuff going through your head and you're just not focused on what you wanted to do in the beginning. And then a lot of times you say, yeah, it's nice, but I should have stuck with my original plan, right? So then you got to do a whole nother piece with your original plan. <laughs> 
Rockle is real, my friends. So you just gotta kinda let your plans play out. Otherwise you're just in a cycle of unfinished plans. more here. All right, I think that's enough. Covered up the gaudiness of the hot glue. I'll leave them here just in case I need to add some along the way. So let me make sure all of the rocks are right in the center. And I will put you guys on hold or on pause until I get the resin mixed up. So I will see you back shortly. Hey guys. I'm back. This has dried. Um, it did not dry clear, so the glow-in-the-dark part is all milky. But it's my fault. It's not a product error. Uh, I was told that the the glow-in-the-dark powder was um, clear, but I forgot I mixed the Milky Way with it, thinking that it was going to give it like a, a little bit of a tint. So anyway, I basically have to, ouch, shit, I basically have to cover this up. So... So I got the same colors again, um, and I am using, uh, so this is the Lores, uh Star Series, Blue Star Series. This is the Lores Gray Gala, then the Suncatcher, and then I have a Bombay blue ink and for this layer which is going to have to be the last layer because I'm up to the rim here so if it don't work out and I can't fix this then that's a lot of resin mixed or missing or whatever wasted that's what it is so for this layer I am using K resin um, the Art Epoxy, and so far I'm loving it. It's got a pretty long work time. I've worked it to like an hour. Um, I've done flood coats with it, and it's pretty... It's a real glassy finish. It's got UV protectants in it. Um, what else? Crystal clear.
clear. Mixing is one to one ratio, zero VOCs. And seriously, when you smell it, it doesn't have a smell. Uh, it's got doming capability, added UV inhibitors. It's dry to touch in 12 hours, full cure in only three days. It says here 45 minutes plus working time. So, like I said, I did a bunch of clear coats on a bunch of stuff that was waiting around. And uh, I worked it for, I think it was like an hour and 10 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna put some clear on this. Save some in case I need it. I hope I can save it. <laughs> and I'm going to try to not get the color up in the clear glass area. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to do. So... This is the transparent blue, the ink. It's a different shade of blue, so I'm hoping that it'll just kind of blend in. Uh, it's a really pretty blue, though. So I'm going to take it mm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me heat this up. Move it around a little bit, see what it's going to want to do. All right. 
I'm just gonna yeah, take it up to the edge, actually. some clear around the edge and then it'll push the color back I love putting clear inside resin colored resin because it like puts these little windows in it push this up to the edge. I'm just going to kind of like swirl it around a bit. Just to get it up there. I'm just gonna it's gonna be a totally different look but I think this is the only way I could have saved it you know that I had to do my finger painting it was just uh, you couldn't see any of the detail that last coat was so milky I just couldn't see any of the detail in my first two layers so this is completely a rescue mission <laughs> so This is not the level. All right. Bubbles, bubbles. should probably leave it alone. But of course I won't. Because, well, I am me. But I really like this transparent color. It's a really pretty blue. So. Pop bubble. Um, so 
So I like that look. You drag it through, and it looks like little hearts. My camera may stop here soon, but if it does, then basically I'm just doing two or three more of these, and then I'm gonna leave it alone. Once you do the little windows and then the sparkles. So basically, they're going, these two are going in. So I'm going to take that one in too. And you don't want it to drip. So I'm going to go around and through there. Pretty, pretty. And it does create bubbles. But once you do this, you don't want to put a whole lot of heat on your resin. Because then you'll lose your little design. So I think I'm just going to put a couple more and then I'm going to be done. For one, I think that's all I have enough resin for is like two more. Okay, guys, I believe that I may have saved it. So, they're different colors, but I actually think I like it better now than the original. So, there you go. And I had a little bit of extra resin left over, so I made a little heart magnet. It's all right. And you can still see the lights. Hopefully it dries good.
to where I don't have to put a flood coat on it because I've already got like five layers of resin on this thing. And it is up to the edge. See, it's up to the edge. But if I have to put a thin flood coat on it, we will find out. I'll know more in the morning. So I will see you then. Bye, guys. This is what it looks like without my flash on. The dark. You can still kind of see where the glow-in-the-dark stuff is, but... All right, that's it guys. I'll see ya. And when it's dry, we'll come back and get the final view. Okay guys, here it is all finished. Um, it's very sparkly. Some of my hearts stayed. A couple of them kind of fizzled out. That's okay, I like it. Very sparkly. It's the blue, um, that blue star Sirius that you're getting all that sparkle from. And then the, um, Sun Catcher from La Rez. These are my stones along the edge. So yeah, so this is just a little serving tray. I got the little, then you could cover up the little fairy light thing if you want. I don't think it's a big deal. But there it is. I hope you guys enjoy and uh, just remember, if you try something and it screws up your <laughs> original work, you just gotta breathe, take a step back, and try again. So my, I actually like this layer better, so it was kind of like a happy accident, I guess. So, um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And come join us on our Facebook group, um, United We Pour with Tammy and Lisa. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Thank you.